Hello YouTube, uh, this is Mercury Rising Channel and I am back just to tell you a little bit of my story so far as far as trying to get my house and life under control. Um, I recently made a decision that I had been putting far too much on my plate. Uh, I am a mom, I was going to school full time, I am working and... Does there need to be an and? I think that is, I mean, that's pretty much it. And I'm trying to do YouTube videos, um, very spirit, very sparingly. And, uh, that was something I want to make my YouTube channels more of a priority. I want to make my kids more of a priority. I want to make myself and my relationship with my partner more of a priority. Um, and I do desperately want my bachelor's degree. So I'm not quitting school, but I'm putting that on the back burner. I am probably going to start going three quarters time, taking like two classes a term. I'm going to try and balance it out where I have like one more intense class and then one class uh, that's a little bit of like padding, kind of. Um, unfortunately, I'm kind of far along in my degree to... Uh, have a lot of padding classes. I do still need, after this term, I will only need one more social science class, so like an anthropology or something. I'm, I try to sign up for the ethics class that they offer in the fall, but I'm the seventh on the wait list, so I don't know if I'm going to get get in there. Um, but I'm taking a critical thinking class, and that, right now, I had to drop my other two classes. Um, because I just, I was trying to take trigonometry, and I was trying to do it online, which just, I mean, I'm just a crazy person, and um, I think I really disappointed my teacher, because she she knows I'm a, a good student, and I'm a smart person, and that just wasn't what it came down to anymore, though. I just, uh, like I said, I've just got a lot of other priorities in my life right now, and I want to keep chipping away toward getting a degree, but I, I kind of just came to... It was actually, I woke up one morning and my neck um, was completely screwed up. Uh, and it still kind of is. Yeah, it definitely still kind of is. But um, I've done a lot of stretches and, and exercises uh, that I'll probably talk about on my other channel because I can't, just can't afford to go to the chiropractor right now the irony of being a poor student trying to go to school so that I can become a chiropractor one day and I'm getting all screwed up by these things that could be solved by a chiropractor that I can't afford. <laughs> but, uh, so I did, I woke up the, the other day, my neck was completely messed up and I got into, um, my chair here at my desk, uh, which... My desk here is the one clean part of my room so that I can focus on my one class. Um, but I just, uh, I sat there and I was like, I could ignore my kids all day and I could study and try and teach myself math out of a book, basically, because that's what you do when you have an online class. And I could, uh, suffer in this chair um, and being completely stressed out because I'm already so far behind, um, or I could just accept that this is too much, and that I'm doing something kind of dumb. And so that's what I did, and I, uh, I actually haven't officially dropped the class yet. I have until Friday, and I think that was just, I wanted to give myself some emotional padding, like, am I really gonna do this? Uh, but the answer is yes, I'm definitely gonna do this, um, at this point, I don't even think I have an option because I shined on the homework for last week and this week. Um, but yeah, and that's just what it came down to. Like, to, for me to get my homework in on time, I would have had to sit there and be completely miserable while ignoring my kids all day. And I just couldn't, couldn't bring myself to do that. <laughs> um, you know, kids are resilient and it's one thing... If sometimes they have to sit and play in their room or you just kind of stick them in the backyard and, and let them have at it all day. But uh, with my partner having um, 
he's been working for temp agency, so he's been working full time, but right now he's actually uh, looking for work again. And so looking for work can take more hours in a day than just going to a job that's, you know, six to eight hours long. Um, because there's all the prep time when he's at the house, and then he leaves early and he's gone. He usually comes home to eat lunch and then we'll go back out in the afternoon. So, I mean, and then in, and then all evening he's sitting on the computer trying to look up jobs and things like that. So it's a serious endeavor when you're serious about getting a job. And, uh, plus, I mean, we're just at a point where we know that there's probably going to be some drastic changes. Like, we, we're looking at probably moving sometime in the next six months or so. Um, and I just, I just, this room, those are all my kids' clothes. And I think I, I showed you guys my room not too long ago, and it was so much worse. This is, this is not acceptable, but it's not as bad as it was. And I have a desk again, which I didn't, I, you don't look underneath my desk, um, but... <laughs> But, uh, I didn't even have a desk to do homework at. I was, like, moved, had moved my operations to the living room, um, so I could work on homework there, and that <laughs> wasn't, um, you know, so then everybody had to be quiet in the living room or leave me alone or whatever, and that wasn't very cool, so I finally got to doing that. But, basically, come in the fall, I will probably be taking a six credit chemistry course, which is already a lot. Um, and then I'm gonna, t I, I think I'm just gonna take something online. Something like ethics. If I can get into the ethics class, I'll take that. Um, which is still a serious class, but it's, you know, it's not the same kind of studiousness as a math class, or for that matter, a chemistry course. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I really thought I'd be able to handle this term better, and I just didn't. But I think that that's just real life, and sometimes you just kind of have to accept that you're not actually a super person. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't really be much more than what you are, and that's okay. And uh, I I also I had this epiphany that like I'm the only one that goes as hard as on myself as I do. Um, my friends and family and the people I go to school with and my instructors, they all think I'm. Well, some of them think I'm amazing. I'm not saying that to pat my own back. Some of them, like my, like my my partner, uh, reminds me that I'm kind of nuts um, for trying to load so much on my plate, which I really appreciate because that's basically what I'm saying. Is that's exactly what I did. Uh, but I get. I mean, I I realized that I was getting all this feedback um, from the people that I like go to school with. It's just like, wow, you're really, like, accomplishing a lot. And I was like, I am? Because I just feel like a fuck-up. And I think, like, I think this might have something to do with that feeling. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I, and that's, that's what it really all comes back down to, is that, like, I think that maybe I could have handled this last term if I had my house in order. Isn't that a... An analogy. Have your house in order before you do other stuff. It's really, like, it's something to live by. Because I, I think I could have done a lot better. Um, you know, it's really hard to keep due dates and whatever, just like learning new skills and formulas and things like that, uh, straight in your head if you come home and, like, you don't know where any hairbrushes are. Or whatever. There's just so so many little things. For that matter, like, I don't really... I mean, I'm embarrassed that I'm going to post this video to YouTube, let alone, like, actually trying to invite friends over. Um, there's my tripod I'm not using for this video. Yeah, it's just... I mean, that's brake fluid. Why is that there? 
I don't know why that's there. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I got, mean, I gotta really take a shovel and a pitchfork and just get this shit out of here. And I've started, um, it's really hard to tell because it was so bad before just how much work has happened. Um, a lot of it's happened downstairs in the general living space. Um, but I've really done a lot. Um, but now I've, I've allocated my priorities in such a way where now I think I know, um, how I can schedule my time. And that's my last big hurdle right now is getting my sleep schedule back on order. Because today was the first day in a long time that I actually got out of bed before nine o'clock. Um, which I know some people just do all the time, but I don't work late or anything like that anymore. So I have no more excuse, uh, to be waking up that late. Not to mention that that's like, if I don't wake up at least two hours before the kids, my whole day is shot. And so that means I need to be awake at like six or seven in the morning at, yeah, yeah on a regular basis in order to get anything done. Because if I can't have a couple hours to myself in the morning just to take care of myself and getting my house in order and all those kinds of things, then I just can't get anything done. Um, so to wrap up this video, basically my house is still a wreck, but it's come, come a long way. I'm trying to take things off of my plate so that I can add things, add the priorities back in. What is that? Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Put the rocks in first. Um, because I was basically just, yeah. The analogy, if you don't know, is if you have a bucket and you want to fill the bucket with rocks and water, you don't put the water in and then start putting in the rocks because then your bucket's going to overflow and you get all wet and you make a mess. So you want to put the rocks in first, and then you pour the water over the top, and you can fill up your bucket. Um, I think that's the appropriate analogy for what's happening to myself right now. Um, I just gotta dump out the whole fucking bucket, put the rocks in, and then start over with the water. <laughs> um, so, there's that. And... Yeah, in general, out there, everybody, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself so you can take care of the people you love and you can do the things that you love. Bye.